India's third lunar mission, Chandrayaan-3, is slated to take off tomorrow, that is on July 14 at 2.35 p.m. from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. The successful landing of the spacecraft will make India only the fourth country after Russia, the United States and China to achieve a soft landing on the lunar surface. And its successful landing will make India the first country to land a spacecraft on the south pole of the moon which still remains an area unexplored by humans. Even Chandrayaan-2 that was launched in 2019 was supposed to land on the south pole of the moon but the lander carrying the rover had crashed during the final moments. In April 2019, Israel had also attempted a landing on the South Pole, but its spacecraft had also crashed. No human missions so far, including the human moon missions of the United States, have taken any spacecraft to the South Pole. This region is of special interest due to its permanently shadowed areas where the presence of water ice is anticipated. Chandrayaan-3 aims to study the unique geology and composition of this unexplored region. Previous moon landings have primarily occurred in the equatorial region with only a few degrees of latitude north or south of the lunar equator. The farthest any spacecraft has ventured from the equator was NASA's Surveyor 7, which had landed near 40 degrees south latitude on January 10, 1968. Water ice has been detected at both lunar poles, with the south pole potentially having a larger concentration due to the region being in an area of permanent shadow and colder temperatures. This region is estimated to hold nearly 100 million tons of water. This makes it an interesting location for studying water resources and its implications for future human missions. Moreover, the extreme cold temperatures at the lunar south pole help preserve materials without much change over time. So, rocks and soil present in this region could provide valuable insights into the early solar system. The South Pole is located in the South Pole Aiken Basin, which is essentially a huge crater. This makes the South Pole a geologically interesting place because it is quite possible that there is material from the deep crust and upper mantle of the Moon on or near the surface. Its craters have been untouched by sunlight for billions of years, thus offering an undisturbed record of the solar system's origins. This region also contains traces of hydrogen, ammonia, methane, sodium, mercury and silver, making it a potentially valuable source of crucial resources. Furthermore, studies conducted at South Pole will also be crucial for space-faring ambitions as South Pole is the site where Artemis III mission of the United States will land. This will be the first time any tests would be conducted on the South Pole, so data and conclusions drawn are said to be studied keenly across the entire world. The unique characteristics of the lunar south pole hold promise for unprecedented deep space scientific discoveries that could help us learn about our place in the universe and venture further into the solar system. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.